What's up, my pilots? Eric Poncho here, and we're back playing Morrowind. In the last episode, we fiddled about and fuddled about and revisited Arnkthand. And this episode, we're going to return to Caius and get, hopefully, an exciting new quest from him. Something fun for us to do in our spare time here as we're finding our way along the long and, the long and winding road to badassery. I still can't get over how freaking great this game looks now with these I'm mods waiting. installed. I'm waiting. Oh, screw you. Ah, welcome. What may I do for you? I'd like some new orders, please. You here to discuss your orders or something else you want? Orders, please. I've glanced at Hasfat and Tabalos's notes. They cover the Sixth House admirably, but not the Neverine Cult. Hop on over to the Balmora Mages Guild. It's right next to the Fighters Guild. Get Sharn Gra Mosgrop to tell you what she knows about the Neverine. She'll have some silly errand for you to do. Do what she asks and report back when she's given you the information. Sharn, eh? Very smart for an orc. An unhealthy interest in the dark arts, perhaps, but very smart. She's always worried that the temple will bust in and stick her in a fire, and worried with good reason. Hmm. Sharn Grama's Grob. Alright. I'll go ask her what she knows about the Nevarin. Nerevarin? Nerevarin? Neverine? I might just keep saying it Neverine, because that's how I've said it my entire life. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to unlearn that. Go ahead. Go ahead. I love the voices that the Dunmer have. I think the Dunmer voices in Morrowind are better than in the, the later games. I don't know if they changed up some of the voice actors or not, but. I would suspect that they did, because the Dunmer in this game just... <laughs> it reminds me of... <laughs> it reminds me of the comparison that uh, Yahtzee made, and there's a guy who does zero punctuation in one of his videos. And I forget who it was that he was talking about. He said that he had a voice with the, the textural quality of a gravel beach or something like that. <laughs> That's totally what the Dunmer sound like. No, I'm here for. Somebody said I can right click to close these? Yes, that's awesome. Great, thanks for the tip. Oh, I, I need to know how to set up hotkeys. I can't seem to figure out how to hotkey things. So I'm trying to. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what's up with that. So if you know how to hotkey things in Morrowind, let me know the method. I bet you you are Sharn Grandma's Grob. Yes. Hello? No! No interruptions! How many times? Oh. You're one of Caius's associates? This is that is a different matter. Kai that is a horse of a different color. Caius and I have a very satisfactory arrangement, brown chicken brown cow, and I'm sure we can come to some sort of agreement if you complete a little errand for me. Alright, what is it? An errand that is very simple. I need the skull of Levule Adrano. You will find it in the Andrano ancestral tomb. But take care not to upset the natives. The Dunmer have some particular have some peculiar primitive prejudices. Peculiar primitive prejudices against necromancy and take grave objection ha, 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 to unauthorized tomb visits. Where can I find this tomb? The tomb is south of Pelagia, just off the road, just before you reach the fork where the road goes southwest towards St. Denis and southeast toward Vic. You may need an enchanted blade. Some spirits are immune to normal weapons. Here, take this old short sword. And maybe these scrolls will come in handy. Good. See, so you always want to ask. More, more information about where they're sending you, because often they'll give you some really good advice, and less often they'll give you some useful items. So that time we end up getting both, which is just awesome. I'm listening. So let's see, what did she give us? A short sword? What is it? Fire blade, fire damage. Hmm. One to twenty-five points. Well, that's all right. I have a sh I have a silver blade, and they don't count as normal weapons, so my silver blade will suffice to strike at uh, undead creatures and ghosts and things. So we're square. Go ahead. So I said south out of Vivek. Um, let me read my journal for that. South out of Vivek, just before the road, just before the fork road forks to go to State of Vivek. Okay, cool. Shouldn't be that hard to find it. We'll just stroll along in diagonal mode, <laughs> like I usually do. It actually worked out pretty quickly, I think. You just stay there and watch those hammers. <laughs> Alright, Algoth? Hey, Hul. What's going on? Speak quickly. Speak quickly. <laughs> that's a very... That's a very uppity voice for an Orgonian. Actually, when we finish this quest, I might... 
I might stumble on back to Sedanin, and before before returning to Valmora, because there's something I'd like to do there. Oh my gosh, my face hurts. Q comments like, with a face like yours, I'd be hurting too. Ho ho ho. No, I I bit the hell out of my tongue today, and it hurts. Oh, oh, it just hurts to talk. Like it was, it's that bad. I'm sitting here drinking the whole video so I can keep my throat moist. Trying to keep my my palate moist so that it doesn't get irritated. It's a good thing you can do to help your wounds heal more quickly in your mouth. Is try not to have a dry mouth. Hello? Something creeping after me? Is that just the sounds in the game? Look at the leaf. Look at the leaf. Anyway, man, that. <laughs> the stuff around here looks nasty. Out, out behind Moonmoth Fort, you can actually see Arkhan back there. I believe that. I believe that's it. <laughs> but behind these nasty trees. All right, so we're gonna head around here. It's south of Pelagiad, so it'll be a little bit of a walk. You know, we could probably take a shortcut here. I'm going to attempt a shortcut. This is not recommended most of the time in Morrowind because if you don't have a levitation spell. These shortcuts can be dead ends, uh, like really unpleasantly dead ends, because you, you just you end up one for one thing you might end up getting stuck somewhere that you can't jump out of, like you might fall in a crevice and die, and then for another thing you might end up just getting to a point where you can't go any farther because you can't climb up a, a hill that's so steep. <laughs> just wanted to use my. Use my magic. Use my new target spell. It works out really nicely. I can defeat the little ones without even having to get near them. Here we go. Let's go after this guy. You failed casting it. Really? What's my chance to cast? Oh, 75 because I have no fatigue. Got him! <laughs> even that far away still counts. Hit the tail, hit the tail, hit the tail. Yeah! Cliff Racer down. Feels good. Looks like this shortcut's gonna pay off. It's not gonna be hard to get on the other side of this little lump. Ah, it's the Morrowind theme playing. I love that. Just so nice! Oops, I just slid down the hill there. Did you see that? Okay. Now I think. Oh, do I wanna actually be over there? Cut out. I'll just keep going this way. <laughs> I'll take another shortcut. Why not? Let's look on the world map, make sure we're going the right way. We just want to head over towards Pelagiad, so it says south of Pelagiad, so it must be down here somewhere. We probably should have just taken the Silt Strider to Satanine and then walked up, but I was under the impression it was closer to Palmora when I left, so. Whatever. We'll just keep heading there. I guess I actually want to be headed in. Yeah. This direction is right. Okay. Ooh, look, a netch. We haven't had interactions with any of them yet, have we? By which I mean, I have slaughtered zero Netch! Let's go say hello, shall we? Ching! It's very menacing. Those trees look like crap. I mean, really, they're like diarrhea green. I'm not looking forward to traversing a landscape that's <laughs> covered in those. Probably be unpleasant. Wah! Look at it go! Look at the spell go flying through the air and hit the thing! Oh look, it's doing damage over time, too. Super effective. Ow! Oh wow, he's nasty. Crap, 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 crap. I'm getting killed. Oh man. Oh boy, this is bad. Okay, so you guys told me I have to... I'm, I'm being dumb here. And I have to just drink a couple more spell... more potions and I'll be okay. Yeah, there we go. You guys were told... informed me that I, uh... I failed casting the spell. I failed casting the spell. Get out of here. You guys informed me that... Oh, look at the way they flutter before they die. It's valuable. I'll take it. Inform me that I can I can actually have the spell effects of potions stack. It's just a matter of drinking them like a bunch of them before I close the inventory. And I thought that's how it was supposed to be. That's how it is in later games. But I I didn't see that the potions I had drank dropped right back into my inventory, and I only drank one. And so I assumed I was drinking the entire stack. It's my mistake. Look at the mud crabs over there, just waiting to get killed by me. Those nets are actually peaceful creatures. If you just leave them alone, they won't they won't mess with you. It looks like if I hover so at just the right height, I can see underneath the water. It's just like a standard thing for these games. Like I think you can do the exact same thing in, in Oblivion for, for sure, and I think you can do it in Skyrim too. 
don't know what it is. Maybe it's the engine that it's that they're all built on, because they're all built on pretty much the same gaming engine, where you can see under the water if you swim at just the right height. And my swimming speed is seriously slow. Like, come on, man. Can I go in third person for this? Like, look, look how slow that swimming is. Like, I myself could have swim faster than that, and I'm not a particularly accomplished swimmer. So I'm gonna take all the mud crab bits, just because for potion making, why not? That Nets looking at me? I don't think he is. Ha! It's always good to get your little bits of training along the way as you're traversing the landscape. Fight a mud crab here and there. Get your light armor skill up. We're pretty close to. Oh yeah, we filled up our uh, training in the last episode too, so we can level up whenever we want. I'm gonna heal up here before I get inside the town limits of Pelagiad. I always start by looking around, to make sure I'm not about to get iced by some assassin. Okay, so there's Pelagiad, so it's not, not not much farther now. I think I might prefer third person mode actually. It might be a little harder to cast my spells. I'm not sure where they go. I know there's a mod that adds a third person crosshair. But as you can see, I don't have it installed, so we'll make do. I mean, maybe I'll just use it for, uh, yeah, might, maybe I'll just use it for melee combat. It's, it's not as much fun to to do the spells in this, in this mode where you can't see your cursor. Oops, I'm getting caught inside the wall here. I want to go around that. <laughs> Get outside, Pelagiad. And then it says, so it's just a little bit south of here, where the road splits. It should be just off the road. I think we might have even seen it when we first walked up to Balmora. I'm not sure. Probably, though. So most of you guys know right now, the uh, this series is going to be really long. As in, it's going to take us a lot of videos just to finish this first character. And then I tend I intend on taking a couple of months off to do another LP, and then we'll come back and do the next character because it is, it's just silly uh, how long it's going to take to do the, this. And the, Morrowind is a huge game, pretty much. Technically smaller in scope than Arena or Daggerfall, but still blows the hell out of uh, Oblivion or Skyrim in terms of things you can do in the game. And I don't mean like, like Skyrim and crap. They put in like random quests that you can just do the same crap over and over and over, and it's really just the same quest. Is this it? Yeah, it is. Wow. Okay. Let's nap on the front porch. That's... Did I get interrupted? No. Okay. I just slept really quickly. Alright. I'm going inside, so... Oops. Going inside, so I'm going to go into first person here. I'm going to try practicing my quick load and quick save, too. I got it on F5 to quick load quick save for me. What is this? When I see things laying on the floor, I have to think, is it a trap or is it a dead guy? It's a dead guy. Alright. It's cobwebs. What have you got for me? Hello? Gold. Pants. Iron shield. I don't want any of that. Thanks, though. Oh, man, I hate when you come around a corner and you don't know which way to look first. <laughs> so, I have to be so nervous, man. Anything in the urns? Just ashes. Shrine of Saint Viloth. They are very popular in these little tombs. The ancestral tombs. They'll have a lot of them will have shrines to him. Hmm. Looks like there's a room back here with a with a hole in the floor. Okay, hello. Oh there's oh bone locker. These guys are nasty. Oh, they're like zombies, man. They'll throw down too, so watch out. Get out of here. Anybody else in the room? Just the two of you. All right. Let me get a torch out. What have you got for me? Just some bone meal. Gives you telekinesis, <laughs> so it's pretty nice as a, as a skill ingredient. Oh, cruel shard arrow. I got 50 of them, and they're each worth five. I'd like to take those, but they're gonna over encumber me. So I'm gonna have to drop something here. I don't need to carry this robe anymore, at least. How much am I carrying? Six pounds too much? Um. Yeah, I don't actually want this sword. <laughs> okay, cool. What's down there? Oh wow, it's a long way. Maybe that's the bottom of the tomb down there. Okay, well we've already explored the top part, I guess. Let me bring my shield back up so I can get my blocking chance as per usual. Is it equipped? 
Hello? Shield? Yes. Are you down there, Shield? Hello. What are you doing out here? Hey, buddy. How about some frost spell? Oh, of course he would resist frost. How about fire? Not fire. Oh, no. Critical damage! <laughs> critical hit! I don't know how I got a critical damage strike. Is that just a critical hit? I, I, I rolled a natural 20? What, like, what just happened? Um, I didn't know you could do that. Alright. Maybe it's just based on your luck stat. That's what I guess. The lighting is a little bit weird. I think some of the mods are messing with that. Dude, do you hear the number of skeletons that are shuffling around here? That's crazy. And there's some kind of lighting script written, written in there to make this darker. Do you guys see like a ghostly presence like hovering right here? That's weird. That probably won't show up in the video. It was very faint. Dude, I hear loads of skeletons around here. This is just crazy. Hello, there's one. Found you! Seems like there's another one in the room, too. Ooh, yeah, he's right there. Let me get my shield out. Bam! If they start to get too nasty with me, I'll just pull on the fire spell. Well, that's an iron shield. I don't want any of that. More arrows! More being over encumbered. All right. Um. Ho hum. Sorry, mushrooms. Back on the ground again. I gotta use those to make a potion sometime, man. Okay, dude. The whispering is getting a little bit weird here. Silver dagger. That's cool. I gotta show you guys. Actually, I'm not, I might use that dagger. You can swing it way faster than you can swing the the other swords. So that might be a better way for us to raise our skills, because it's, it's more strikes more quickly raises your skill, rather than uh, a bunch of slow heavy blows. That's not going to raise it very much. It's not based on the number of, of points of damage you do. It's based almost entirely... Actually, I think it is based on over and over with bone meal. Alright, cool. Let's turn them into potions. I got anything else with agility on it? Or... Not agility, but... Look around and see here. Drain fatigue. I guess that's decent. I'd like to get a little more than that out of this bone meal, but whatever. Drain fatigue's fine. Yep. So I'll just we'll throw some of those ingredients out and make potions with the rest. I can't rest here yet, so I'm gonna clear this room where I hear the rustling. Come here, you! Get out of here. Give me your bone meal. <laughs> okay, now can I rest in here? Sweet. Let's sleep up. Ooh, fire salts. Those look cool. Dude. They look good. That mod did wonders for them. Drew wax. That's valuable. Nice. I'll take it. Or is it dro wax? We never decided, did we? I don't know, man. Does anybody really know what time it is? Look at the big wall pointer down here. What do you suppose this is? This is, what, this is what you do, right? When you're looking at a, a thing on the wall, you point your torch and you're like, Ah! Oh, ah! Oh. This guy in the middle here looks kind of like a predator. Like, as in, like, of aliens versus predator fame. Those, those predators. But I suspect... Ah, eh, I don't know. Could be anybody. Who knows? Let's put my shield back on. I smell a trap here, so I'm going to probe this chest. No? It's cool? It's cool. Ooh, is that a silver axe? Nordic Battle Axe! And a hammer. I'll take the hammer. I don't want the prongs. They're not worth it. Oh, the hammer's too heavy. You know what? Just use some hammers. Why not? Gives us less crap to carry and gets a little bit of armorer on our armorer skill. That's always cool. How close are we leveling up now? Oh, wait, we got to level up in the last video. Wait, does that mean I haven't gotten my... Herm. Let me look at my heavy armor skill. Nope, 35. Yeah, I haven't gotten... 1, 2, two 3, 4. Yeah, I haven't gotten my ar heavy armor training this level yet. Okay, let's well, remember to do that then before we actually do level up. I didn't realize I'd done so much in the last episode that I uh, leveled up. I forgot. Cool, so we're level 4 now. Dude, we're nasty. We're kicking ass.
Just give me use my dagger. Nobody in here? Alright. Alright, alright. I'll take it, I'll take it. Free stuff. I'm not betting there's any traps in the little chests like this one, so... I'm not gonna worry about that. Ghoul heart! Ooh, that's interesting. Valuable. We have to head back to the Mage's Guild and sell all this, all this stuff. Wait a minute, we were looking for a heart, weren't we? No, we wanted a head. Or, wait, no, it wasn't a head, was it? It was a skull, yeah. So it says, once you retrieve the skull of Lavala Andrano. Ten bucks says he's a freaking living skeleton, and we're gonna have to kill him in order to take the skull. <laughs> Dude, I guarantee it. That's just, that's just, that's just what happens. Alright, I see a guy behind the door there, so I'm not going to open that until I'm done with this dude. That should do it. Oh, you're dead. Can I strike you through the door? No. Oh, look at these guys, they're just nasty. Lay down a fire spell on him. I think he's casting damage whatever's on me. Yeah, dr grave curse. Draining my strength and endurance, which sucks. I'm not actually over encumbered anymore because the spell wore off. What do you got for me? Ooh, soul gem. Take all that. And there's a sack with some goodies in it. More goodies here. Ah, the 36 lessons of Vivek. Those are cool. I haven't found any of those in this this version yet. I'm gonna leave it. It's, they're all skill books too. It's kind of cool. Ooh, dagger of judgment. Interesting. It's only worth six though. Like we're taking. Hey, it's the skull we want! I'll take that. Thank you very much. That's it then, eh? Well, I know there's more to be seen in here. I saw that there's a whole other lower part we haven't looked at yet. Let's clean out some potion ingredients, shall we? I got a bunch of bone meal now. So what are we looking for? Restore agility, telekinesis, don't use any of the really expensive stuff you found. Oh, look, we can just use drain fatigue. That's fine. Just get rid of some more junk. And our alchemy skills up to 41 now. I believe it's gone up six levels since we started, which is nice. I should have checked that for traps. <laughs> that was one of those ones that might have had a trap. Restore luck. Fireburst scroll. I can take that. It's a bone mold helm. Interesting. Eh, this is probably worth taking. Worth 300. Worth 200. 200 gold. Shard arrow and spark arrows. I gotta drop something here. Uh, I'm carrying too much stuff again. As usual, right? As usual. Okay, um... Can I just make more potions? I got a bunch of mushrooms in here, don't I? Where's my bungler's bane? Throw down some of that. There's my bung... Oh, doesn't share any ingredients with bungler's bane. Nope. I'll do that. Crab meat? No? Just clicking on the things I have the most of. Lightning shield! Alright, that's cool. Just use up some more stuff so we're not over encumbered. We're gonna continue on down. Down, down, down in a burning ring of fire. Hello? Anyone in here? Oh, this is the bottom. Creepy. Okay, what's this? Homilies of Blessed Amalexia! Hmm, interesting. It's one of those. One of them preaching books. Looks like a whole preaching room down here. I guess they would have services down here in the uh, bottom of the tomb when they buried somebody. I don't know. <laughs> Soon they'd have to hire some adventurers to clear out all the undead first, but uh, I suppose that's just the way it works in Morrowind. All right. Well, I'm not gonna walk back. We're gonna recall. Wow, you're in Balmora again. Let's take a moment just to make sure our whole body teleported with us, right? And then we're gonna run across the street here and report our success. My time Whoops! Is Don't fall in the river now. Quick. That'd be nice being able to to warp back here whenever we're done with the quest. I'll I'll, I'll take the Silt Rider to say to Neen to, to to do the next little side thing I'd like to adventure with. I believe we had a the cave nearby, Sedanine pointed out to us by one of the residents there, but we never explored it. Yes, we, I'd like to do that at some point, so. Who wants to, to buy my stuff, I wonder? I bet you somebody down here does. I think, 
think the Khajiit might. But first... Speak quickly. I have completed your errand, Sharn. Very good. I'll just take that skull from you. Perfect for what I have in mind. Now, <laughs> thank you. Now, as I promised, I'll answer your questions on the Neverine Cult. What is the Neverine Cult? This Ashlander cult believes the long-dead hero Nidorvar will be reborn to honor ancient promises to the tribes. According to legend, the prophesied Nerevarin will cast down the false gods of the tribunal temple, restore the traditional ancestor worship practiced by the Ashlanders, and drive all outlanders from Morrowind. Both temple and empire outlaw the cult, but it persists among the Ashlanders who care little for imperial law or temple law. Here, take this copy of my notes. Thank you! It's helpful. I'm gonna barter some stuff. What have you got? Potions? Okay, cool. You might want arrows? Yes, you do! Great! Oh, well, you can't afford all of them. Damn. Just sell some of them then. You don't buy soul gems. Okay. Well, I got like, some expensive ingredients here, right? Like fire salts, drew wax. Cool. Give me the arrows back, actually. Uh, what was the other ingredient? We had ghoul heart. Ooh, that's valuable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we have any other valuable ingredients we stumbled upon? Those are more valuable than the usual. Little anthers worth ten each, that's cool. Give me these back. Yeah, I'll, gi I'll give you just the flat two hundred. Thank you very much! Two hundred gold for that junk. What else am I carrying here? I still want to get rid of those arrows with, from somebody. Anybody want my arrows? I suppose it is my duty to help those less fortunate than myself. Somebody around here might, though. Yes. Maybe you do. You want something? Something. Okay. You don't buy arrows. Your friend does. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Oh yeah, I made some potions I can sell now, right? Let's see. What, was I, what did I make anyway? Drain endurance, drain fatigue. Sell all that. Fortify this, fortify that. Here's the... Yeah, you don't buy books, alright? How about soul gems, no? You want the key? You know, nobody wants the key. Ugh. Restored luck. Okay, that's good enough here. Oh, wait, you got anything for me? I could just buy cheap ingredients from these people and make potions with what they've got, you know? Like the Kwama Cuddle that has drain fatigue, and then, like, all, all the mushrooms, basically, that have drain fatigue on them. So... That might be worth doing, actually, to pick up the the cheap ingredients that they that they sell. And sort of, they try to make a net, which I'm call it, a net gain there. Okay. Well, while we're here, let's heal up, shall we? Not gonna get attacked in a town, I don't you think. Have so something to say, it's a good opportunity to take a little break, refill our health. Okay, so now I guess we can return. We have the packet of notes here, I suppose. The following are notes from Shar and Tokaius, the Nevering Cult. Da 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 da. Yeah. The Ashlanders firmly believe that Nerevar will return to restore the glories of ancient Resdane. Hmm. The temple honors Saint Nerevar as the greatest Dunmer general, first counselor and companion of Vivek. And Alexia and Sotha Sill, who united the, Dwemer, the Dunmer, ho Dunmer houses to destroy the evil Dwemer, the treacherous Houth Dagoth, and their western allies at that Red Mountain. But the Ashliners say Nerevar promised to honor the ancient spirits in the tribunal law, and that he will come again to honor that promise. Wow. <laughs> to the Ashliners, this means destroying the false temple and driving the imperial invaders from the land. Hmm. Gosh, what did... What is this about? It's very strange, very strange. All right, where's the bookseller? That's you here, right? Yeah. You're going to get my copy of the 36 Lessons of Vivek, eh? Sermon 15? I think there's only a few of each sermon available in the world. So, when you find one, count yourself lucky. There's probably like, I guess, 36, yeah? So, uh, if you find one that's... I'm... I think most of them if not all of them, I believe, are skill books. The armorer might want to buy my arrows. It's worth trying. Sell them here. If not, I'll sell them in the Fighter's Guild. Actually, it would be... Stranger, my yeah, time is short, so get on with it. Get on with it. You want to buy the arrows? Cool. Oh, wow, he's got a large amount of money. See, I, I could go... I could go to... 
the Creeper to sell all these things, because he gives you pretty good deals, actually. But, uh, I'm not gonna, just because I, I don't, uh, do I still have Recall out? I think I do. I don't want to bother going all the way to Caldera and back just to sell stuff all the time, so. If there's a convenience shop nearby, I'll take advantage of it, but if My not, I'll, and if you have really expensive goods, it's a good idea to take it to Creeper, because he's got the second highest uh, amount of merchant gold of any merchant in the game, so. He'll set you up, man. Up 5,000 gold for any purchase, pretty much, so you can sell some expensive valuables. Expensive valuables that other people might not want. How can I help? You can put on a freaking shirt, man. Alright, I completed the mission! And these are Sharn Notes on the Devereen Cult. Excellent! I'm promoting you to Blade's Apprentice. What? I'd like some time to think about how this fits with the Emperor's plans for you. So if you'd like to get in a little freelance adventuring, go ahead. But when to be ready, I have new orders. What does it mean to be a Blade's Apprentice? I'm promoting you to the Apprentice rank, effective immediately. And here's a little present. Two Spell Scrolls, Divine Intervention and a Limsy Intervention. They'll come in handy when a quick getaway. No, no, Poncho. No thanks needed. You're doing great work. Now get out of here and let me read. Oh, sorry. Hey, Caius? I had a weird dream a couple episodes ago. You're worrying me, Poncho. You're not going loopy on me, are you? A word of advice. In Morrowind, if you have disturbing dreams, the temple says you're crazy, and they want to lock you up. And if you have disturbing dreams that they think me and think they mean something, then the temple thinks you're a prophet or witch, and they want to lock you up. So take my advice and keep a lid on it. Oh, I guess I won't talk about it anymore. Alright, see you guys. I'm going to go freelance. For a while, at least. Alright, well that was fun. We went and stole a skull from an ancestral tomb and traded it for information from a necromancer in the Mages Guild. Yeah, this is prior to the whole purging of necromancers from the guild that occurred. Uh, bef be yeah, before okay. Oblivion, between Morrowind and Oblivion, the, the Mages Guild purged itself of necromancers. They had a big, they had a big thing, basically. <laughs> uh, all right, so in the next episode, we're going to go to Sedanine and adventure through the little freelance stuff there. So I'll see you guys next time. And the beggar hey, the beggar's gone. He's not watching my hammers. Oh, I can't carry them, of course. They're so heavy, man. It's just too heavy. Wish I could just click and pick up ten of them. Stay here, hammers. I'll be back for you, hammers. But yeah, see you guys next time. Where would you like to go?